What is the best Japanese rubber for your forehand? It is not an easy question. Because choosing the forehand rubber is totally different than choosing the best backhand rubber. Here is my recommend list for the top 10 forehand rubber, fast, spinny, and powerful. In this list, there are some tacky hat Chinese rubber that the professional players love using. Chinese rubber or Japanese rubbers. Forehand rubbers is the most important table tennis equipment because the forehand attack is one of the most fundamental skills. Some players will prefer using the Chinese hard and tacky rubber on the forehand side. There are also some newly released modern European ESN and Japanese butterfly rubber that suits very well the modern style of table tennis, had a sponge to favor counter-attack style. They all have some disadvantage and advantage for each style, I will explain below. Choose the best rubber for forehand. I have explained to choose the table tennis rubber in general. Here, I will talk more about the forehand rubber. Many players ask me what is the best forehand rubber in table tennis. Is choosing the forehand rubber the same as backhand rubber? Some coaches propose new and intermediate players to buy the same rubber for both sides. Wrong, because the mechanism of the forehand and the backhand stroke are not the same. So today I will show you what are the characteristics of a good rubber for the forehand side, why Chinese rubber are good for the forehand side, and finally I will list the top 10 most popular forehand rubber which fit very well with the modern table tennis trend. Which type of rubber do you need for your forehand side? A forehand attack is not the same as the backhand attack. For your forehand loop, you rotate your body, use the power from the ground and hit the ball with a larger amplitude stroke. While you hit the backhand topspin in front of your body with a much compact stroke. So choosing the forehand rubber is totally different than choosing the backhand rubber. Harder forehand rubber. You hit the forehand top spin with a larger stroke, so therefore you can impact the stronger fox. That is why the forehand smash and the forehand loop cue is the most powerful stroke in table tennis. That is why you need to choose a harder sponge for your forehand side than the backhand side. The, the rule of thumb is the sponge hardness of your forehand side must be plus 2 or plus 3 hardness degree harder than your backhand side. If you choose a too soft forehand rubber, you cannot transfer 100% of your forehand power to the ball, hence the speed and the spin will be lost due to the bottom out effect. On way choose max thickness. Even at the new player at the new level, don't choose too thin rubber. I have explained the secret of the sponge thickness here. Because too thin rubber will bottom out the ball, even with a medium fox forehand stroke. And due to the ITTF regulation, the overall thickness can't exceed 4mm. So always choose the thickness, thickest rubber as you can. Guide to cho choosing the right table tennis forehand rubber hardness for the beginner.
Many coaches advise their players to choose 1.9 mm to gain control. I don't agree with this approach. This control, the control comes from the blade. If you rely on the rubber for control, you will make a very bad habit of moving up the elbow while playing the forehand topspin to compensate with the bottom out. I have seen many many new players have this bad habit and it is painful and difficult to correct your bad habit. The only exception is when using the Chinese rubbers as your forehand side. You should choose 2.15mm instead of 2.20mm because Chinese rubber perform the best with the booster. The booster will expand the sponge and soften the spawn hardness to 1.5 to 2 degrees. If you choose max thickness, the sponge can pass the thickness limits allowed by ITTF and boosting the too thick sponge will also reduce the consistency due to the absorption and evaporation of the oil during the time. Denser sponge. The density of sponge is proportional to the weight of the rubber. You should choose a denser and heavy rubber on your forehand side. The density can relate to the hardness too, but not on way through. Some Chinese rubber is light and hard, and some bad and cheap rubber will, which is heavy but not dynamic, not hard enough. I always recommend my players choose dense sponge. If you love playing with a spring sponge, a specific structure of the air bubble inside the sponge, you should choose a smaller bubble sponge because a smaller size bubble will enhance the elasticity of the sponge, the air compartment contract on, on impact and then expand again, impacting additional power on the ball. Chinese rubber are in general have a very dense sponge. That is why Chinese rubbers are very good as forehand rubber. Some players said, but Chinese rubber are so heavy. Wrong. The cheap and normally fake sponge is heavy, but the real in domestic sponge of Chinese rubber, especially of double happiness rubbers, is not so heavy. The sponge is rather light, but uniform and hard in structure. I have explained also the main difference between orange sponge and blue sponge. Due to the new plastic ball, it is mandatory to play with a harder sponge, but a lighter sponge. That is the main reason top Chinese players all switch to blue sponge. Low to medium low throw angle. Unlike a backhand stroke, you need a low throw angle on the forehand side. Please note that the throw angle is complicated subject because it depends also on your blade, your combination rubber blade, mostly due to the outer layer of your blade. I will explain it later. But in general, for the backhand shot, you mostly close the racket more and hit in front of your body, so you need a rather medium to high throw angle rubber. That is why a good backhand rubber is often bouncy, high throw angle, spinny and fast. While the forehand rubber is different, you need to transfer the force and reduce the energy lost. So bouncy is not really necessary, but the low angle is necessary. Because when you use too high angle, it is harder to use to develop the full choke in your forehand loop. The power of your forehand comes mostly from the rotation of your hip. The lower the throw angle, the faster the ball will land on the opponent's side. You should watch this video to understand this. The lower throw angle also increases the kick effect of your forehand. At the professional level, the kick effect is very important. In the part 2, I will explain the top 10 forehand rubbers, fast, spinny, and powerful.